Hi, hello, it's Nikki and welcome to my messy bookshelf. Today I am just doing a weekly recap and a Victober update for the week. Um, so I did complete two books this week and one of them I didn't realize was going to fulfill a prompt, but it actually fulfilled two prompts in <laughs> my Victober 2024 challenge. So I am really pleased about this because it was a great reading week and I really enjoyed both books that I read. But starting with the somewhat of a chunker, and this is The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. And I was reading this for the group challenge to read a book by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, which I also did, and or a book by Wilkie Collins. And I decided to give this one a try and did not expect to enjoy it as much as I did. So this book was about a famous diamond that is taken from India and bequeathed by the person who took it to a family member. And the entire book is about the diamond getting stolen and the investigation to recover it. And it was very entertaining. This was incredibly easy to read. Um, there's like no better way to, to say that. It was a very easy read. It was very page turning and I read it very quick, like if I was reading a modern day mystery novel. So this was fantastic and I loved it more than I enjoyed The Woman in White. Um, so this one I did not realize was going to play with form in some way, but it ended up being just that. So this fulfills my or uh, the prompt uh, from Katie's challenge to read a Victorian book that plays with form in some way. So I wasn't expecting that when I picked this up. And I was very pleased because not only did I fulfill a prompt, but I really enjoyed the experience as well. Um, we have this investigation, this mystery about this stolen diamond and who done it and we also have you know journal entries we have letters we have different points of view so it was fantastic all around and i really enjoyed the the reading experience of this and i would reread this book again like i said i enjoyed it much more than i enjoyed the woman in white and that is the only other Wilkie Collins book that I have ever read. And now I am intrigued to see what else is out there. So I'm not very familiar with Wilkie Collins, but now I have read two of his most famous books. <laughs> so The Moonstone, loved it. Uh, one of the better books I have read this year. So I am like winning this this month with this challenge because the two chunky books that I read were well worth the time that they took. So I haven't been doing anything except reading, <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. Um, and then the next thing that I read was A House with Good Bones by T. Kingfisher. This was not towards my Victober uh, challenge, or I keep saying my Victober challenge, the Victober challenge that I am participating in. And this one was my spooky edition for the week. And I really enjoyed this one. This was just the right level of spooky and atmospheric because T. Kingfisher knows how to do just a little bit of spooky, but not too much. Um, so I really enjoyed it. It was about a woman who goes back home because she's on furlough from her job and things are not the same at home. So she is there with her mother and there are strange things going on in the house. So she is trying to figure out what's going on with her mother and with the house. And I will say no more because it was a very enjoyable experience picking out all the things that were happening in the house. So. I loved it and I'm really happy that this was recommended to me. I think Pat recommended this to me a while back and I bought it a couple months ago. And yes, I'm very happy. I've enjoyed everything that I've read from T. Kingfisher so far. So 
very, very enjoyable week so far, and I couldn't be happier because there was nothing that I didn't like. And now on to what I am reading. Um, because I just finished House with Good Bones, I haven't started my next book, and I have a little pile here of stuff that I am thinking about picking up next because there's still a few days left until the end of the month, so... I don't think I have it in me to read another chunker, but we shall see. Um, but the first option for me is The Witch of Pungo by Scott O'More, and this one is a nonfiction, and I have not read any nonfiction this month yet, so this might be what I pick up. But this is sounds like it'll be perfect for this time of year, but it is about a real life woman who lived in Pung the Pungo area of Virginia and she was tried as a witch and she survived. So I picked this up on a whim because it was heavily advertised at the bookstore when I went a week or two ago because this author is coming to sign books uh, soon. And it sounds very fascinating and I have not read a nonfiction this month, though next month will be heavy on the nonfiction. So this might be what I pick up, but I have not yet decided. The next one, I've showed it before, We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson. I'm feeling like I would like to finish off the month with something spooky, so that is an option. And then again, The Saturday Night Ghost Club, which I don't really know anything about other than that. It's a group of kids in the 1980s and they spend a summer investigating some ghost rumors in their town and it takes place in the 80s and that's all i know and then this one was not one i mentioned before but this is the family upstairs by lisa uh, lisa jewel and this one i pulled off of my shelf because i don't know i was kind of trying to find that feeling again that I had with A House With Good Bones. A family mystery that is also spooky and um, very mysterious and dark, if you will. But those are the things that I am considering picking up. We have about, what is today? We have about five or six days left until the end of the month, so I feel like I have time for one more book here so uh if you have any suggestions please let me know and i thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye